Yes, my name is Zahoda Aden. We, I am the director of Woodbury Limited. We're a company that is locally based. We deal with making furniture, handcrafted furniture, by local artisans. We deal with mahogany primarily, but uh, we also delve into mvuli and other sorts of wood. We um, also cater for other forms of um, furniture. For instance, we make home furniture, office furniture, outdoor furniture, and basically we tend to the client's needs. We're located at Kilimani Mall, uh, ground floor. Kilimani Mall is at uh, opposite Yaya Center. We've been in the furniture making industry right now for two years. We're an SME, a small business, uh, but uh, we hope that we actually go from strength to strength and promote our local furniture made by our local artisans because this is absolute quality, quality assured furniture that we make. And we also do custom designs for each and every person who comes in. For instance, if a client comes in and they would like a certain piece made with certain dimensions, we cater to their needs. First of all, we opened uh, the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, we've been in business for two years now. Um, so the pandemic affected us, you know. We weren't seeing a lot of people. And um, in reality, uh, with everything being shut down, you can imagine the state of the economy across the world, not only Kenya. So um, it, it was a bit hard for us in the beginning, but uh, we have faith in our clientele, especially the, our Kenyan-based clientele. Uh, we've, they've actually helped us a lot in holding our hands, growing and uh, slowly giving us input to actually better ourselves as a company. Uh, we've uh, also tried to showcase what we actually have and I believe that people here in Kenya appreciate to, true artistry. Um, we ensure that Kenyans also see that we can make furniture way better than what is imported. Our main goal is to actually like have a huge dent on imported furniture but just, that's just for us to say. Yeah. And the challenges that we, another challenge that we face is that people truly don't believe in the Kenyan spirit. And then the Kenyan, um, the Kenyan um, brand that we can actually have quality uh, goods that can compete internationally. Because uh, foreigners see what we have and they actually can't believe that this is made by a Kenyan person. They actually don't believe it. They believe that we must have imported this, but we show them that this is the process, step by step, you know? And handcrafted furniture is not something that you make all at once, no. It takes time, you know? Patience. And uh, that's, that's one of our challenges, getting our people to believe in us, but sh slowly but surely we'll be able to actually tackle that problem if we get the right exposure. First of all, I'd like to thank His Excellency, Mr. President Ruto. He's actually embraced us and he's seen our products. And we fit in right into his manifesto in building up the bottom-up economy. And we are part of that. We solely believe in his um, ideology right now, that we are actually going to build our economy from the bottom going up. And uh, we, fit, uh, we would like for all Kenyans to actually see what we're worth as the president said, that he is keen on um, making sure that even the small uh, enterprises have a say and the way to move forward in the future. We employ currently 50, but we have 50 artisans. And uh, if you look at us as a company, we're almost 100, but we have interchanging staff. And uh, we hope to actually bring, hone in our local talent and uh, somewhere, somewhat in the future be able to show them how it's done. Because you see, these are skills that are actually um, nurtured, slowly but surely. Uh, because I, can, I can't really say that, you know, it's something that somebody only, you have to actually continue practicing and teaching. And we're also learning from our artisans. But uh, the one thing that I can take away from this is that um, we are specifically 
are targeted in, at providing quality furniture to all. Uh, God willing, we all put, place our faith in God, first of all, and uh, hopefully we see ourselves being a home brand. Not in the first year, maybe not, maybe not in the second year, but in the future. We're quite hopeful that Woodbury will be a household name, whereby people from all corners of Kenya and God willing Africa and the world will see what we can do as uh, African entrepreneurs, African uh, manufacturers, um, a small business that will one day become a big business, a, whole, a super brand. Here, in, um, we would like for, for all of us from small homes outside Nairobi, in remote areas, to actually know who we are and aspire, you know, to have us in their home. And uh, in Kenyans, like for instance, um, like in each and every single county, maybe we can provide furniture for each county assembly or homes in each. And, and, and I think the Kenyan public who have actually seen us and come to us and visit our showroom, based in Kilimani Mall, um, they've actually encouraged us to reach out to other people in different counties, Mombasa and Kisumu and you know Nakuru especially, yeah, Wajir, um, Marsabit, and Garissa, all of the counties. I'm not, we, we can, first of all, first line of marketing is actually quality assurance. That the fact that you have good quality products that you can see. Yeah? What makes us, we are, you see, I can't really um, differentiate as much. But the one thing that we can tell you about ourselves is in that we are, 100% dedicated to providing the best furniture in the market for each and every single person. Like we're not discriminatory at all. We would, we, our end goal is that you see what we're for. Do you understand? What Kenya is, we're proudly Kenyan. Showcasing our talents, you know. And the thing is that we want to build each and every single one of us, even the fundi that works for us, we want to build his home. We want to make him a priority, him or her a priority, yeah? And bringing the Kenyan brand forward, being, being central to ourselves is also very key to us. That's the one distinguishing fact I can say. Um, perhaps the world and general Africa and the rest of Kenya can embrace us in that ideology.